Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. The Christian faith rests on two key beliefs. One at the beginning of the Jesus story and the other at the end of the story. The beginning of the story is about the incarnation of God in Jesus Christ. That is God becoming flesh. Then the other one is at the end of the Jesus story, the death and the resurrection. These two events separate Christianity as an exclusive one. It makes other religions incomparable to Christianity. And these two events ought to be celebrated. The incarnation of God in Christmas period and the death and the resurrection that gives us hope that we shall also rise. That is the difference between us and them. Now when we are celebrating the birth of Christ, we are talking about God's salvation to mankind. God's instruments that saved the human race, Jesus Christ. And we are saying that in this period he is born. We want to celebrate that. We want to let the world know that he is God's instruments of salvation. Those who do not know our Lord, if they don't celebrate Christmas, we can't fault them. But those of us who understand that he has been our revelation and he is our glory, we can afford not to celebrate Christmas. So Merry Christmas to all of you. Let's gather around the Christmas story. Let's sing and praise our God for what he has done for us. When we are celebrating Christmas, what that means is that we are entering a new year. For me, I've always said that 31st night and 1st January 2023 is like any other day. But the opportunities we have in the calendar year is to give us space to make amends, not to repeat the same mistakes because we need to kind of progress in life. Otherwise, it is just another day. So don't let us be so superstitious about 31st and 1st. I know that 2022 has been a tough year for many. So we are entering 2023 still tough, but we'll come out blessed. I know that God is not going to leave Ghana just like that. He's going to come in and bring us relief. Let us keep praying and work hard so that 2023 will be a good year. Despite everything, for the Church of Pentecost, we want to reposition the local church for maximum impact in the nations. So, presiding elders, members of the church, you are our hope, you are our glory. The local church is our strength in the coming year. Let us all master the strength that we have to reposition the local church. Let us strengthen it to possess the nations. God be with all of us. May you live long. May God be a blessing to you in the coming year. God bless you. Free shall